sell point here. Uh, today we're going to implement a Gaussian naive Bayes model. We're going to implement it from scratch in Python using only NumPy. So let's get this done. Um, we already have the testing code ready, so once we're done implementing the model, we're going to be able to test it right away. For now, let's impl import the NumPy module as well as the data class decorator from the uh, Python's built-in data classes module. Um, so as I said, data class is a built-in module, so we're not really violating the constraint of only using NumPy. Let's define a class called Gauss Gaussian Naive uh, Base. Let's think about the API. Well, uh, the first thing uh, we can notice is a Naive Base, of course, and Gaussian Naive Base is a supervised learning model. Uh, and so uh, we need both features and labels. In addition to that, we need to be able to like fit uh, um, the model. In this case, it would just generate some parameters, but it just fits um, the Gaussian naive Bayes model. We also need the predict method, which would take some features and generate predictions. Uh, so we would perform basically inference um, using Bayes theorem, which is the probability of A given B is the probability of uh, B given A times the probability of A over probability of B. Let us start by implementing the fit method. Um, the way fit method works for a Gaussian naive base is that it generates some parameters, as I said. Um, so we need to generate, so we, we need to populate the array or list of parameters in a way that we're going to have the means and variances of all features for a given label. Uh, and to better understand how this works, I'm going to code this up and explain as we go. So let us first generate the, or obtain the uh, unique labels, and we can use the unique operation of NumPy to do that. And now we need to uh, define params, stands for parameters, and we need to populate this list. Uh, to do that, we iterate over every unique, uh, over all unique labels, and we're going to say for every unique label in uh, self dot unique labels, all right, so every label in self dot unique labels, uh, we're going to get label features, so all the features for the given label, and of course we can use, um, uh, you know, NumPy's indexing. Uh, and uh, what we need next is we need means and variances uh, of all uh, um, column feature vectors, if you will. And I'm going to go over how that works. But uh, basically, that means we need to append something like a list of column.mean, column.variance for column in label uh, features transpose. And let's make an example of how this works. Let's suppose we have um, features like this. Um, maybe something like that's our features, basically, or self dot features, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's basically the features that we would provide the Gaussian naive base to be initialized with. Um, this, let's suppose, is label zero. Let's make this, I don't know, four, five, six, uh, and call that label one. And let's make it seven, eight, nine, and call it label. Uh, uh, zero again. So uh, this feature vector right here, it has uh, um, label zero. This one corresponds to label one, and that one is labeled zero again. If, uh, let's suppose we're considering one of the iterations here, and let's suppose label is label zero. In that case, this operation right here would eliminate this middle feature vector because we only uh, uh, are going to retain those for uh, um, label zero. Uh, then we need to find column-wise uh, uh, variances and means. And to do that, we can just transpose this, 1, 7, 2, 8, and 3, 9. And then basically do the column.mean, so this.mean, and that, uh, that, that variance. That's what we've done here, basically. And the reason we want to do column-wise is because you could think of uh, every position within a, a feature vector to have its own role if you will. So this one right here uh, at position zero and that one right there at position zero, they have like the same kind of role, same kind of nature within a feature vector. So um, some position i in label zero, uh, well, in the first feature vector here, which is, you know, has label zero and a second one, uh, which also has label zero, um, both of those feature vectors at position i would have features that are, uh, or 
yeah, well, feature that has the same nature, if you will. So that, if that makes sense. So that would basically, that basically explains why we need to uh, average them out, okay? Uh, now, the predict method. Uh, well, we need some predictions. Uh, um, num samples. Uh, so we make an empty array first, and maybe we can populate it later. Uh, and how many you know samples? Well, that we can get from the uh, features. Well, actually, we don't need the number of features, uh, but number of samples w we need. Uh, so we're unpacking the features uh, using the features that shape. Um, next, we need to generate uh, predictions. So we're going to go iterate over the uh, features, and um, we need to compute posterior probabilities. For that, we're going to need something like uh, we're going to iterate basically over uh, all of the uh, unique labels. And uh, we're going to calculate the prior, which is just going to be uh, the prior probability. Uh, it's basically um, the mean of what we have. Uh, like the uh, for a given label, how many of them uh, we, we basically build out a list of zeros and ones, and then like average that list out to get the prior probability. Uh, and then we need likelihood. And for computing it, um, we will make a naive assumption. That's why it's called naive base. And that is the assumption of independence. Uh, we're going to assume that the probability of uh, A1, A2, A3 given B is the probability of a1 given B times probability of A2 given B times probability of A3 given B. And you can guess why this is, you know, naive. Uh, it's naive because, of course, it's very difficult to come by a situation or conditions when you have three totally independent events. But that's what we're going to assume for, uh, for now. And likelihood is then just the NumPy product of the likelihoods. And the likelihoods themselves are computed using the uh, Gaussian likelihood function. And that I have actually prepared beforehand. The reason for that is because uh, there's nothing super interesting or super difficult about this. It's just a formula. It's actually a very beautiful formula and you can study it and well, Google for it or uh, search on Wikipedia or somewhere else, read a paper um, and study it. But um, really it's just a formula and we need data, mean and variance. Um, and that's why we store it means and variances to use it in the likelihood function. And then we compute coefficients, exponents, and multiply them. Uh, one neat trick that we use here is that uh, to avoid division by zero errors in case variance is zero, in case basically all the features are the same. Um, epsilon uh, is basically a small number that we add to the denominator uh, uh, here and there as well in case variance is zero basically. So that would kind of help with the division by zero. Um, but here, all we need to do is that we kind of uh, multiply all these likelihoods. So feature vector mean variance for feature vector uh, mean variance in we can zip feature with self dot uh, params uh, at label index. That should be it. Um, finally, uh, posteriors, we're going to append prior times likelihood because posterior is a prior multiplied by likelihood. And you can also divide it by like a scaling factor, but in this case, we can just uh, disregard that. Uh, finally, uh, predictions, we're gonna append, well, we cannot append, it's a NumPy array. Uh, we can index into it if we turn this into uh, enumerate. Um, we can index into that that way, and we can make it equal self.unique labels at NPR max of posteriors. So basically, let's get the highest probability, highest posterior value, posterior probability. And in the end, we we'll return the predictions. So that basically implements the uh, Gaussian naive Bayes model for us. And um, to test it, uh, as I said, we already have the testing code. Uh, we can run this. And there we have it. We have the accuracy of 0.947, precision of 0.961, recall of 0.944, and an F-score of 0.949. And we have four out of 75 uh, uh, you know, mislabeled points. So that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, 
in the uh, comment section. I'm going to make sure to read them. And if you have any suggestions, please feel free to uh, uh, make those suggestions and comment as well. I'm really happy re reading uh, uh, you know, new suggestions or new approaches. Uh, maybe there is a more elegant or easier solution to this. So I'm going to be very happy to read about that. Uh, so thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'm going to see you next time.